In this video, we are going to describe about the various components fitted in the jacket water system of main engine and their functions. The jacket water cooling system of the main engine ensures that the components surrounding the combustion chamber, such as liner, piston, cylinder cover, exhaust valve, and the turbocharger are maintained within a set temperature in order that they do not overheat and seize. An engine cooling water system consists of a cooling water pump, a preheater, a cooler, a fresh water generator evaporator, an expansion tank, a derator, a temperature control valve, a jacket water temperature controller, and various indicating and transmitting instruments. Now let us see the function of various components. It is required to circulate the cooling water through the engine and other system components. The pump, two in numbers, is centrifugal type and driven by electric motor. Always, one pump is driven and the other is kept in standby mode. The standby pump starts automatically when the discharge pressure of the running pump drops below the set limit in the pressure switch fitted for this purpose. The pumps are fitted with a compound gauge in the suction side. A pressure gauge in the discharge side. The pumps have isolation valves both at the suction side and the discharge side. The valve in the discharge side is a non-return valve. The pump sucks the heated water coming out of exhaust valve of main engine and also the makeup water from the deaerator. The water from the jacket water pump flows to the evaporator of fresh water generator for recovering the waste heat from the jacket water to vaporize the seawater for generating fresh water. The preheater is used to maintain the jacket water temperature above a set temperature when the engine is in stopped condition. Steam is used for this purpose. The entire heat absorbed by the jacket water from the main engine is partly removed in the fresh water generator and the rest of the heat is removed in the cooler. The cooler is seawater cooled. The temperature regulating valve fitted in the bypass pipeline of the cooler regulates the quantity of jacket water flowing through the cooler in such a way that the temperature of the jacket water coming out of the engine is kept constant by the jacket water temperature controller. The jacket water enters through the cylinder block above the scavenge ports. Flows surrounding the liner, the cooling spaces of cylinder cover, and exhaust valve. The water coming out of the main engine then flows to the pump. In this line, the makeup water line from the derator is connected. The expansion tank in turn supplies the water to the derator. The header tank or expansion tank. This tank has following four functions to fulfill. It allows the thermal expansion contraction of cooling water. It maintains a constant head. It stores and supplies water to the system to make up the loss of water due to leakage and evaporation. It allows the addition of corrosion inhibitors to the cooling water system to protect the engine's internal components. The derator removes the air accumulated in the system. The water from the expansion tank is supplied to the suction side of the pump through the deaerator. Hope this video helped you in understanding the jacket water system of main engine. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.